welcome to Yoga With Me, Harriet. Thank you so much for joining me. Uh, today I'm going to introduce one of the elements that you could use as part of a home practice. I know over my time teaching, a lot of people will come to me asking, how can I start practicing at home? I don't really know what moves to do. Well, Surya Namaskar is the sun salute and you'll find it as a flow, a sequence of postures that's often done um, towards the beginning of a Hatha practice. It is at the beginning of the primary series of Ashtanga yoga. And you'll find it also um, in the yoga that's termed Vinyasa yoga um, these days. It's very popular. So it's really about flowing with breath. Um, and the sequence has been adapted and changed and there are so many variations. So this is just one version. Um, and I will show you some variations that you can take, um, starting from the gentler options um, in case you're feeling tired or you're just starting yoga. And it's a really good idea to just work gently and listen to your body. Um, ideally, we're not feeling any pain. Um, some new movement can always feel a little um, strange and uncomfortable. Um, that's why the breath is really important so that we're allowing our body to relax, particularly through the exhalation um, and giving our body fresh oxygen um, with a good inhale. So it's inhaling and exhaling through the nose. So today I'm going to start with some breathing practice, just like I would if I was to do this in the morning or in the evening or any time of the day. Um, and then after the breath, rhythm is steady and stable, then we can start with some movement. Um, and we'll start with some breath um, right out. So feel free to take any position that feels comfortable as um, you set up. I'm quite comfortable here in a cross-legged seat, um, but you may wish to start standing um, or even lying down is always a really nice option, I find, particularly if you're feeling a little fatigued. Um, so just find a position that is comfortable. That's the most important thing. And then relaxing the shoulders back and down. And just finding evenness in your sit bones if you are seated. And just before you start to change the breath in any way, just observe how it is naturally. So just observing the inhalation and the exhalation as it flows in and out of your body. And the breath is usually a good indicator of our energy level at any given point. So just noticing how shallow or how deep the breath is moving in and out. Have a very inquisitive cat that could cause all kinds of mischief. <laughs> he might make an appearance sooner or later. So just assessing the quality of the breath. And then beginning to breathe in and out through the nostrils and a little deeper. So if you're new to this type of conscious breathing, then you can take one hand to the chest and one to the belly. This cat is getting very close into the camera here, as you'll see. So we're just starting to breathe into the chest and all the way out and allowing the diaphragm to move and exhaling, releasing the belly, releasing the chest. So we're breathing in and breathing out. And we're breathing in to expand the lungs all the way into the base of the lungs and letting the belly expand and then exhaling, releasing the belly, releasing the chest. And you can let the hands release down once you have it. And I am going to 
practicing ujjayi breath, which is creating some sound through a gentle constriction of the throat. I will do a video on that um, soon. So if you're new to the practice, just stay with a slow and steady breath in and out of the nose and just not forcing it in any way. Just allowing the breath to gently extend with particular emphasis on emptying out at the bottom of the lungs at the end of the exhale. So in yoga, as we breathe in, we expand, the chest moves out, the belly moves out, and as we exhale, we soften into that new space. So with that in mind, um, I will instruct the breathing. <clears throat> I'm aware that it's a lot to take in um, and yoga is so much more than just the asana, just the physical practice. The pranayama is what we've just practiced, um, which is focus on breath, control of the breath, control of the life force energy. Um, and so there is also a deep, deep philosophy um, that underlies um, yoga practice and the science of yoga. Um, far too much to get into in a moment here. Um, but with regards to Surya Namaskar, Surya means sun, Namaskar, um, translated as salutation. So when we take this flow, we do it with an attitude of reverence and gratitude for the energy that the sun gives us. And I am speaking here from a very sunny Sydney in a very beautiful part of the eastern suburbs here. It's a bit of wind, there's a bit of energy moving around here. Um, so I hope you'll deal okay with this changing light. Um, but with that in mind, um, that light that shines within us all, that energy that is boosted by the sun and in Hindu mythology, um, the sun god is being um, praised here. Um, so whether or not you subscribe to that, this will give you some energy as long as you adapt to the level that um, is right for you. So I'm going to give three different options, um, starting first with um, the cat curl, which is if you choose to um, begin yoga and the vinyasa, um, the strong flow, which is often referred to this sequence from plank to chaturanga, up dog and down dog is often termed a vinyasa. You'll often hear that in a class. Um, so if you prefer not to take that, um, you can tuck the toes under, bring the wrists under the shoulders, find a square position with the knees under the hips, spread the fingers, find your breath. And we're gonna mobilize the spine gently. Tilting the tailbone up and rolling through the lower back, middle back and upper back. Maybe lifting the head, breathing in to open the body. Without any force. Exhaling, articulating from the base of the spine. Moving through the lower back, middle back, upper back. Between the shoulder blades, emptying out the breath. And moving through once more. Inhaling. Rolling through, articulating through the vertebrae. Exhaling, rolling through, rounding the spine. So you can do this as a nice warm up. You can absolutely make it your own. Maybe you press back to a child's pose. And you can take that at any time. You need a rest and you need to establish your breath again. And the second option that I'm going to introduce um, is a gentler flow um, from a supported plank. So the knees are down in this one. And as we lower down to the mat, we are aware of our elbows staying in by the ribs. So they don't need to hug the ribs, but that direction, I see a lot of wings out. And I am gonna do a workshop on this particular flow, but um, for now, starting here, breathing in, exhaling, lowering down, sliding through to the belly, releasing the body, untucking the toes, inhale, lift the chest, keep the buttocks soft, draw the shoulder blades together behind you, draw the elbows in, 
slight tuck of the chin to lengthen the back of the neck and exhale. You can come back to child's pose if you're working gently or coming all the way back, lifting the hips into Adho Mukha, downward facing dog. And I would always recommend some movements the first time you come to your dog. So you can just move in any which way that allows you to find a little more length in the body while keeping the breath flowing. So you can pedal the legs out. You can shake the head, yes and no. The fingers are spread and the priority is given to the length of the spine. So if by straightening the legs, you find you're humping over, you're much better off either taking, taking the feet further back, taking them wider, or bending the knees and then letting the chest come further towards the thighs and then if you wish to extend you can start from that place of length in the spine so third option um, if you feel you have that one it's always best to stay with an option until you feel you have the alignment you have the strength um, the next uh, version is the full vinyasa from plank to chaturanga, lowering to the elbows, lifting up into up dog, and then pressing back into down dog. So this one I see done in all kinds of <laughs> scary ways. Um, so do ensure that you're able to keep this alignment. Um, so often I see people's elbows going out and dropping down all kinds of <laughs> rapid descend to the mat, which is not safe. So safety first always make sure you're breathing your plank is here so the wrists are under the shoulders and the legs are working towards straight you're extending the heels away you're drawing the belly in pressing up between the shoulder blades and the gaze is just ahead of the hands on the mat inhaling here exhale to lean forward and then lower down just to the elbows for chaturanga Inhaling, lifting the chest for up dog, softening the buttocks and opening up the collarbones, maybe lifting the head. Exhale, drawing the belly in, pressing back, downward facing dog. And when I say draw the belly in, it's really a deep uh, pelvic floor lift. <clears throat> Mula Bandha, um, which is the root lock, which I will discuss in a, in a later video, but if you're aware of it, Pulling up and in in that deep core um, support will lift you up to your down dog. All right, so we're going to run through the whole Surya Namaskar now. Um, and I'm going to run through each one. Yes, I do have time. Awesome. Okay, so we begin in Tadasan, uh, which is mountain pose. So the idea is that you are stable and strong and steady here. So the toes are spread. You roll the shoulders back and there's a slight tilting of the pelvis. So the tailbone tucks down, the point down towards the earth. And from here we finally have a little more space to lengthen the front of the body, lifting all the way up through the chest, palms, Turn slightly out and the crown of the head lifts up as it is floating up towards the ceiling, a little more length in the neck. Finding that steady breath and then on your next inhale, reaching the arms up, lengthening the fingers, leaving some space between the shoulders and the neck. Exhale, lengthening forward, crown moves away from the tail as you fold to the mat, palms down. You might bend the knees, relax the head. Inhale, lift the chest, lengthen the spine, maybe look forward. And we're stepping it back and I'm going to take the cat curl variation here, but take what you need. Inhaling up. Exhale to round. Inhaling up and exhaling, pressing back for downward facing dog. Take a child's pose if you need. 
We're gonna be here for three more breaths. The fingers are spread. Maybe you're moving, bending one leg and then the other. Softening the shoulders away from the ears and letting the head hang. Maybe a nod and a shake of the head. Allowing the sit bones to track up towards the ceiling. And then on your next inhale, we're going to step one foot and the other forward. Take a few steps if you need to. Lengthening the spine, flat back. Exhale, folding forward. Inhale, reaching up, lengthening out of the waist. All the way up to the fingertips. And exhale, hands to the heart. That was one round. We're going to move into the next variation. Inhaling, reaching up. Exhale, lengthening forward and down. Inhale, stepping back and releasing the knees down. Keeping the elbows by the ribs, lowering all the way to the mat. Exhale, inhale, lifting the chest. Rolling the shoulder blades together behind you, softening the buttocks. Exhale, pressing back, either a child's pose or a downward facing dog. Breathing here for three more. And maybe you start to find a little more length in your down dog. Maybe you even lift the heels up. Press the chest back towards the thighs and then press the heels back down towards the mat. Maybe a sigh out. <sighs> and we look to the hands, inhale. Step one foot and then the other forward. Lengthening the spine, drawing the shoulders away from the ears. Exhale, folding forward. Inhale, reach up all the way. Exhale, hands down. Last round, a little stronger perhaps. Inhale, reaching up. Exhale, folding forward and down. Inhale, you can step or jump back into plank. Rounding through. The back of the heart, lengthening the heels back. And exhale, lengthen forward and down, keeping the belly in, chaturanga. Inhale, lift the chest, open through the collarbones. Soft into the buttocks. Exhale, downward facing dog. We have five breaths here. And if ever you need to take a rest, you can take child's pose. I'm demonstrating here. So I'm pretty open, but if your head doesn't quite reach the mat, you can use your fists as a pillow or press your palms down. And if your butt is a long way from your heels, feel free to use a, a pillow or a bolster there. Otherwise, from down dog, looking towards the hands and stepping or jumping with an inhale. Lengthening the spine, crown away from the tail. Exhale, folding all the way. Inhale, stretch up. Exhale, hands down. Hands to the heart. You can step the feet to hip width. Keep the eyes closed. And just observe. How you feel at this point compared to when you first started practice today. And tilting the chin towards the hands. The light within me recognizes the light within you. Namaste. Thank you so very much for joining me today. Um, that was an introduction to Surya Namaskar A. 
Um, I will do another video on the second version. Um, uh, that is really just a, a way of bringing warmth and circulation to the body. It may be your full practice. Um, when you don't have much time, it may be the beginning of further practice. Um, so I will do another video on how to extend that. Um, I hope that has been helpful. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out. Um, my email is info at smileinthesky.com um, and my website has all the information on retreats, workshops and classes here in Sydney as well as in Europe later in 2020 and elsewhere in the world. So please do um, follow me at the smile in the sky 16 on instagram and smile in the sky on facebook i do do private sessions either uh, online or in person so i would love to have you join me again all the very best much love enjoy your practice.